This is bad. This is bad. This stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm Kralis. And this is American Track Simulator. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And also, everybody, I think I made a mistake. This is my track, my own track, the Pedabilt, right? We bought it in the previous episode, or I bought it. Then you guys been telling me that I could have got uh, the old school one, the Kenworth V900. And I love those old school ones. So I guess the main objective of today's episode is to get to Sacramento, uh, drop off this shipment, which we get going, and then get back to... Let me see here. I think the closest Kenworth is here, just outside LA. I think we can just teleport back. And uh, maybe just trade this guy in or something. I don't know, because... Oh, crap, it's going to be... <laughs> I'm stuck with this guy, I guess. But it's going to be such a money waste. I, I have, you know, no time to waste. Let's just, let's just think about that situation once we are on the road. But anyhow, trip information for today's episode. 367 miles to destination. And holy crap, I need to sleep. But I can't sleep. Um, I can't sleep because this is this is my first job as an independent driver with my own track and stuff. So that would look bad if you just roleplay the situation. I mean, it's a game still, right? But uh, but I guess what we need to do is to prevail. But crap, let me just see here. 367 miles and the bed is almost red. It's blue now, but it's gonna be red very soon. Ay, 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 caramba. Well, that's a little bit bad, I guess, but we're gonna see how this turns out. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep, and, uh, well, time will tell. Anywho, I do get some questions from you guys, but first, let's just get out of this mayhem, this zone, because I don't want to get any tickets. Uh, dude, oh, look at him. Look how beautiful this guy looks. This is the one we could have bought. And I think also, like, oh, hi. Hey, it's a call box. Um, I think you can kind of turn, uh, tweak those um, exhaust pipes. Because you know I kind of dissed them in the previous episode when we kind of had one of those that I couldn't see. But I think we can tweak that. So I don't think it's going to be as bad. I just, I just want to get one. I know it's going to be like super waste money. Although what we could do... Uh, first of all is this. Let me just hear. Um, bam speed... Cruise control, uh, 55 zone, no tickets, professional driving with Kuralis. What we could do is maybe upgrade our garage, get some extra slots. Then we don't trade this in, we keep that and buy the Kenworth. Because I did take, yeah, I did take the huge loan for, <laughs> for reasons unknown. So we do have the money to afford one more. But then again, upgrading the garage is going to cost like 100k or something. So I guess we don't have the money. Or do we? No, we don't. Let's just trade us in. Well, well, it is what it is, everybody. <laughs> Shit happens. Let's just be happy. And I do have some questions from you guys. And also, you know what? I bought a game yesterday. I do buy a lot of games. But this game, I bought mostly because of the overwhelming... Oh, no. Stuff is going on on the dashboard. What's going on? Uh, maybe just a little engine break or something. I bought this game mainly because of the overwhelming positive feedback from the community. It's called Stardew Valley. I played it for one and a half hour. Everybody loves it. Like, I've seen all over the place. Overwhelming support all over the place. Uh, everybody's doing Let's Plays. Everybody's absolutely in love with the game. I hate it. I hate it. Am I the only person who doesn't like it? Like. Don't get me wrong, I grew up with games looking like that. I've been playing tons of games looking like that, and I've loved them. But for some reason, after one and a half hour, I was just... I can't just be bothered. It's kind of like a Farmville. I don't, I, I don't like it. I, 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 do you have to play the game more than a one and a half hour just to get, to get into the groove? For those who bought it, I'm sure you guys are like, Yay, the best game ever created. Let me know. Do you have, like, were you like super happy when you just got the game and started playing the first hour? Or did it take some time to get into the groove of playing the game? Because I, I don't like it. I just don't like it. I, 
the only person in the universe, I guess, who doesn't like it. I don't know. But Stardew Valley. I'm sure it's an amazing game. And also, this is like the first game ever <laughs> I did request a refund on Steam for. And I feel bad about that, because I'm sure this indie ca company needs the money, and they're gonna make fantastic titles. But I'm, I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna play this game anymore, like never. So why just waste the 13 bucks? I mean, 13 bucks can buy stuff, I guess. You can buy a burger, I, if you want a burger, you can buy a sausage, if you want a sausage. You can even buy a milkshake, or a grapefruit, or an orange, or a watermelon. I mean, watermelon is good, right? So I guess you can buy stuff for the money. So let me know what you think about the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't like it at, at, at all. Then also, this is something I've been doing lately, by the way. Um, I've been collecting old school consoles. Like, you know, just to kind of get back to the nostalgia of my childhood. I, I've been buying the ones I had. I've been buying the ones which I couldn't have because we couldn't afford them. So I got like almost all the Nintendos. I got a uh, Dreamcast for reasons unknown. I love the Dreamcast. I just played so much games on that. It was Soul Calibur. I even got Soul Calibur. Like in a mint condition. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I bought the Sega Mega Drive, Sega Saturn. I even got an Atari Amiga. Atari Amiga 500 because that is like one of my, one of my first computers and I loved it. I don't think I'm ever going to play it, but I got it. And the, the thing about this, all right, like for the Nintendo, for example, I think I paid, I f yeah, for the, the Nintendo, which was in mint condition, I paid more than my PS4. It's nuts. So the question is, like back in the day, I don't, I don't think people had the mentality to kind of like store stuff away because they were like, oh, it's going to be, oh, it's a crop duster. Look at it. I don't think people had the mentality of thinking like, yeah, this is going to be worth money in the future. I'm going to keep this stored away in a mint condition and then I'm going to sell it in the future, right? But what if? What if I would buy a PS4, an Xbox, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U or, or whatnot, right? And keep them stored away Chevron and Chevron. I just love those little car parks and stuff. I mean, that's it's so atmospherical in the game. Uh, by the way, action view. Uh huh. Look at it. Oh, this is so awesome, by the way. Before we crash, let's just slow down a little bit. So, yeah, if I would buy all those consoles, would you guys think, like, in 20 years' time, they're gonna be worth the same as they are today? They're gonna drop in, in kind of like value. Or even more than they're worth today. Because I think like today's mentality is like people people keep stuff because they're collecting stuff and they know they might be worth stuff in the future. And also the mass production of stuff. I mean, back in the day, don't get me wrong, they were mass producing like uh, all the consoles back in the day, I guess, but not in that extent as they do today. There's so many possibilities where you can buy stuff like stores, online stores, this, that, warehouse, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know. Should we be collecting stuff today in mint conditions? Still storing them away for the future generations to buy. Because the thing is, you know what? Kids playing, like, kids growing up with, like, PS4s today, Xbox Ones and stuff. Uh, and, or just all the consoles, right? They're pretty fairly young. So they don't really have the, the I guess, the, the, the funds to buy them themselves. But when they grow up, as me, right? I didn't have the money when I was young. But now when I have the money, I can buy them because, you know, just getting back to the nostalgia when I was growing up and I could maybe afford that. So it's gonna, it's gonna be the same thing today, or kids are just too picky. Because they're gonna be like, nope, the graphics pretty much sucks. I, I don't know. Anyhow, questions. Ben, uh, has having a kid made YouTube a lot harder to do full time? Oh, babe, it has. You wouldn't think it would, but it does, alright? I got my office at home. Already there, it's kind of like super hard, right? Because the kids are here all over the place, about. So that makes it tricky. And also, yeah, I know, wife is get, gets tired. I need to kind of help out. And you wouldn't, you would see like, okay, but people have jobs, people have kids. 
For some reason, I got this crazy frame drop here. I don't know why, but um, hopefully you guys don't notice that too much. Um, people have jobs, people have kids and stuff, but this is this is so much harder because this is kind of like a 24/7 job, and it, my office is the home. So I can't just just neglect wifey and just do this 24/7. I need to kind of like balance it out and help out. And also the kids are sick. Wifey gets sick. I need to help out because wife is sick and the kids are sick. Then I get sick because the kids been sick and the wife has been sick and everybody's sick. Life sucks. Uh, no, it's amazing. But yeah, it is a lot harder, right? Football and opinion. Do you and your family speak English, Polish or Swedish while at home? Swedish. I guess like, I mean, I moved to Sweden when I was like, what, five? From, from Poland. I don't know, something is wonky with my FPS. I mean, it drops to below 40 at some points here. Uh, so yeah, I, I, like, I was five when I moved to, to Sweden. So I guess Swedish is kind of like my native language. So we do speak Swedish, Swedish at home. Like when, when, my, when my, my mom-in-law is here, she's Irish. So we speak English, right? When my parents are here, we kind of speak Polish. Not that wife is like a professional Polish-speaking person, but she does understand and she does say a few words here and there. So, so that's kind of like Swedish used, but we also kind of like use two from point to point uh, Polish and Polish and English, which kind of makes it kind of cool because Demian he kind of uses some Polish words, he uses some 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 English words and Swedish. It kind of mixes all the languages. It's kind of pretty fun to kind of hear him talk at some points. Um, Cedric, Cedric, uh, will you go to a video game event uh, to meet us? Paris Games Week, E3, London Game Festival, etc. <sighs> oh, by the way, that's bad. Look at this. 82 miles to destination, bed is red, and it's, it's gonna be like closing his eyes soon, and I'm gonna crash. But we're really close to Sacramento. I don't know this year, I think, like, I think the only place I'm gonna go to this year, and I usually go there, and that's Gamescom in Cologne. I kind of like it. So I think Gamescom is somewhere I might go to this year. And that's about it. But I would love to meet you guys. Absolutely. So maybe next year when the, when the kids are a little bit bigger, I can just go traveling about. <gasps> What's going on here? Okay. Let me just see here. Something is going on. Guys, come on. I don't have the time to, to do mess about. I need to deliver a shipment. And I'm gonna fall asleep very, very soon. So yeah, games come this year. Zul'jin, my good friend Zul'jin, YouTube buddy. Uh, are you looking into getting one of those new VR headsets? Uh, Oculus Rift or HTC Vive? <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. It's kinda tricky, like... I kinda wanted to pre-order the HTC uh, Vive yesterday. But 800 bucks? Are you kidding me? 800 bucks? And it's kind of like... It's kind of like... Buying... A pig in, in, a, in, in, a, in a sack. As you call it in Swedish. Köpa gris in a sack. And they do say here in Swedish, right? Uh, I mean, what do you get? You don't really know much about it. Like, I mean, it's not really proven. There's not much games around there. Oculus Rift has been a, around for, for a while, I guess. But... Um, Oculus Rift or HTC Vive? I don't know. It's really hard. Like I mean, HTC Vive's gonna get uh, it's gonna get better support for games, I guess, because it's kind of like something to do with Steam. If I'm not mistaken, my Steam VR and HTC Vive, I think that's kind of like so. I guess like more games might come out for HTC Vive because I guess you know like game compression developers they see Steam as the selling platform and it's kind of like huge. Uh, Oculus Rift. I don't know, like, I mean, they're just, mm. I, I'm just thinking, like, I mean, how, how, it's, it's gonna be, it's still gonna be a little bit bulky, I mean, this is not a new, new phenomenon, like, I mean, this virtual reality thing has been a dream forever, I mean, it's been existing for quite a bit of time. Um, but I guess it's gonna be the real thing now, soon. But I, I just need a bigger office, I guess, I mean, so how, how am I gonna move about with it? Because, I mean, they got, do you guess, like, those those hand-controlled sticks and everything, and it's gonna be... Ugh, that's gonna be mad. <gasps> oh, oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Don't crash. Don't crash. 
And the thing is, as he slumbers away like that, the driver that is, you don't have any control over the truck, right? Uh, you can't really like steer the, the brake or the gas or anything. Uh, it just goes by hand, so it's, it's kind of like super tricky. Some, I'm scared. I cry, I cry every day because I don't want to crash this. This is my first independent shipment and I want to have this perfect. And it's scaring me, everybody, it's scaring me. I don't know. Like, both of them are kind of like, I guess, semi-bulky. I guess Oculus Rift is less bulky than the Vive, but... I don't know, graphic-wise and stuff. I guess Oculus Rift doesn't have to be connected to, to the computer, right? And HTC Vive has to. I, I haven't really read much about them yet, so I, I'm not sure. But you know what? Just to make it easy, I'm gonna buy both. No. I, I, don't, know, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe if somebody tests them and proves them, they're like super amazing. Maybe. But how would you record a YouTube series? Because I mean, is it kind of like a vlog kind of thing? With another split screen? Oh, look at this! Sacramento! Oh, baby, no skate parks here! They're shooting some hoops. Okay, we can't... Oh, no, stop, stop. There we go. That is so awesome, by the way. I mean... Because Sacramento is famous for the basketball team, right? So they kind of in incorporate that into the, to the game. Look at this guy with the moves. And there's a playground. Small things in life, everybody. Uh, let me see this guy. Alright, dude. Perform your magic. Und, 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 und. It doesn't do anything. So, I don't know. I, I guess... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm watching a guy dance, right? And now he start dancing. I need to drive. I guess I'm gonna... Might get both. If if they're proven to be amazing in the future. But I'm just not really sure. Like, how do you do the... Like, is it like, like a vlog with a split screen of the game? How would you do a let's play of it? Because obviously people don't having those devices won't really... It's just gonna be me looking stupid on screen, I guess. So it's gonna like... Meh. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. And hmm, tricky, icky question. Where do we? Where do you want it? It's over there. Let's play it safe. It's super safe. Let's do this then. Forty XP. Oh no, forty XP. I mean, that's kind of like nothing. And this is gonna suck a little bit. How do we go about it? I think the easiest way would be to go straight. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Stop! 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 <laughs> Okay, that, that was kind of bad, I guess, but hey. <laughs> hmm. I guess it didn't damage the trailer, it just damaged the truck. But we did move it very nicely like that. I suck. But I think we can do it, okay, like this, right? Now we have adjusted that, which means maybe if I get the turning point right, I don't want to scratch those cars, that's the problem. I could maybe go on the sidewalk here a little bit. Uh, let's see, nothing, 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 nothing. There is a car, and we're doing it, everybody. Like a professional truck driver. If he falls asleep now, I'm gonna be super, super sad. Force feedback, do you work? Twerk it. I'm just so scared he's gonna fall asleep. I want to have excellent on this trailer. But the thing is, since we crashed, we might not get it. Please be perfect. Oh no, it's bad. It's bad. Stop. Uh, <laughs> did we make it? Can I press T? Yes, I'm pressing T. Please be excellent. It freaking is. How incredible. So we did make seven and a half bucks on this. Seven and a half K bucks, that is. Uh, almost level five, so that makes me happy. But now is the moment of truth. Let's go to track dealers. What time is it? Uh, can I go to the Kenworth over here and visit select the dealer? 
Yes. There it is. And I can buy it. I can buy it. I can even buy this one. What's the difference? This is the day cab. All right. And the first one is... It's a day cab. So what's the difference between them? I guess it might be just the engine part and stuff. Holy crap, we can kind of buy one of them. And this one... This one is brutal. Like, look at the size of this guy. But although... Level 15, the dream. Level 10, though. Well, it's gonna take a while until we get there, but... No time to waste. Let's get this guy, right? Let me just here. Uh, customize configuration. We're gonna get... Uh, this 10 speed retarder because it's 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 awesome um i'm gonna yeah, yeah let's just have it black for now and also can we tweak this five roof cabin lights get them standard sun shield oh can i tweak the mirrors a double ones uh oh let me just see how does they look from the inside oh they're gonna be brilliant look at them they are so much better. What is that? Basic air filters, alright? I take it. Like, those are kinda cool, but I think since we got those... Nah. I mean, that's just a waste of thing. Metal deflector. What is even this? Is this a thing? You know, I'm gonna go without it for, for now. This can be tweaked. To a modern one. They have possibilities. Metal fender guards. But it doesn't look good. This looks better. <laughs> no, it's not gonna protect them, I guess, but. And the exhaust pipes are actually awesome because I think they're gonna allow us to see wheels, chrome. I'm gonna keep the standard for now, right? Because I don't want to waste any more extra money. And um, yes, confirm. And this is gonna be oh, purchase traded. I don't think I can purchase it. Yeah, I don't have any room in my garage. <laughs> I'm just wasting the money. Thank you. <sighs> we did it. And uh, well. I did kind of waste the money, but but this is going to be so awesome. Just listen to the engine sound. Crap, this is just super awesome. Holy, holy, holy. Um, let's just drive about this a little bit. Oh, I can't drive there, it's a curb, doesn't matter. I can take it. How's the lights looking on the roof, by the way? Let me just see here. Okay, they look like that. Uh, start the engine again. <laughs> He's asleep. The thing is, I'm super tired. But I love it. I think this is a fantastic machine. I guess I shouldn't push my luck because I'm gonna crash this guy. Oh, it's beautiful, alright. Enough said, everybody. How's the horns on this guy? Because, I mean, we got those little, like, huge ones up top. Why do they sound so meh? Uh, do I need to tweak them somehow? High beam, beacon front, back, I don't know. Light adjustments. That's about it. Mirrors. 
<laughs> Alright, we were pretty lucky there because I kind of fall asleep again. Um, I don't know, I just want to have those, like those manly, the manly horn. And this is kind of like, mash, mash. But uh, I take it. But now, let's just see here. I think we're going to pick a job before we end this episode. And we are currently where? Uh, where am I? Um, I'm in LA, right? This one. <laughs> 3,000 bucks. You're kidding me. Uh, but no, this is a quick job. What am I? I got my own track. Everybody. Now it changes. Take a peek at this. I was like, the prices are pretty, pretty crap here. So let's go from LA. El Centro, El Centro, Las Vegas. Okay, this pays five and a half. So that's a little bit better. It's a home accessories thing. <laughs> from Vegas, we can maybe go north here in, uh, in Nevada. So I'm not going to waste you guys time. I'm going to take a sleep break here in my beautiful truck. <sighs> let's take a peek at this guy again. Such a beast machine. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. Let me just see here. Can I park you guy? Gonna be a rebel park? No, I can do. Oh yeah, look at those exhaust pipes. They're actually not blocking our view. And by the way, the inside of this is just beautiful. Like, I mean, the sunroof, the interior. Even the dashboard is pretty fancy. I mean, it's not bad. Hi, buddy boy. You sleep, I sleep. But then again, we just we just picked up the shipment. We just well, we didn't really accept it because the thing is, like, look at this uh, engine off. As I sleep now, new stuff might pop up because I mean the time is four a.m. So let's go. Let's go to Fright Market again, L.A. Santa Cruz, we haven't been in Santa Cruz, by the way. Now we get close to Vegas, they pay less. Crapper. Oh, look at this beast machine. San Diego, San Diego. Yeah. Well, Vegas it is, with this crappy paid shipment. It ends in 4 hours and 32 minutes. I can make it to destination, I guess. So let's take this guy. And that's going to be something for the next episode. Thank you so much, Fortune. And see you guys in the next episode of American Truck Simulator. With me, Corrales. Happy trucking and bye-bye. Oh, this is such a, such a beast truck. Beautiful. See you guys. Bye-bye.